This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on the 6th day of June, Tuesday, and we're looking at this 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's down 54. I think Apple's pulling back a little bit. 33,506. Uh, this is going to be quite important. 33,805 was the high th uh, three days ago, and that made a peak B because it was a fractionally lower uh, high yesterday. But look at this. The S&P squeaked to a new high yesterday, pulled back just a little bit at the close, holding quite nicely after that spectacular Friday and Thursday and Friday move of last week. Now we're looking at it down just four and a half points at 42.69. Uh, key support will be 40, uh, just on the intraday basis, 42.48. I'd say uh, 20 points down. Uh, if that if that occurs later in the day, then I think we can go into Wednesday a little bit weak. But so far, pretty good action. Looking at the QQQ, NDX 100, uh, also trading down a little bit after a really fabulous uh, couple of sessions. Looking at it down one at uh, 353.60. And we're also looking at the uh, weekly chart starting to make a smaller candle. So we're watching this very closely. It's been very, very strong up until now. The SMHs, of course, have been uh, the leaders. The SMHs are about unchanged today. But what we've got here, we've got the IWM coming on strong up $1.46 at 181.02. That's going to be very important because of this rotation. I'll talk about that in my show coming up the Tiger Technicians Hour. If you're looking at gold, talk about rotation. Uh, gold has pulled back a little bit. It's unchanged in 1973. It's holding quite steady when you consider that the dollar's had a pretty pretty nice move to the upside, although today it's um, up 22 ticks at 104.24. It's trying to make that 200-period moving average a springboard to the upside. We're looking at crude oil as well. Crude oil is here down once more. It's down a dollar at uh, 71. Oh, this is just struggling. I've told you that dollar looks to me like it's just in a trading, a narrow trading band, and I'm missing the U.S. bonds. U.S. bonds right now are down sharply, down over a half a point. Those yields are moving up, but they're still moving up within the range. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Check out I hope you call my daily newsletter. See you in a few minutes. And I like the fact that the financials actually. Thank you.